Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. Today we're making this C to C join as you go gingham blanket. What is so great about this blanket in particular is it literally looks like a piece of gingham fabric. We're working two strands at a time and just building one block at a time and building onto that block as we grow our blanket. So it's super easy to do if once you know your C to C. The border is super cute, just kind of tie it all together with a cute little border. So we're gonna be doing all of this and I'll put the timestamps of when we start the border in the description box below. So if you're coming back to do the border or you just want to do the border, on any other blanket. This border would work great on any granny square kind of blanket where there's sets of three stitches or any C to C blanket as well. So I'll put that in the description box below as well as on the screen. For my blanket, I just went through what I had in my own yarnscape and grabbed all of it. <laughs> this is what is left. I used 19 of these skeins all together. I used a mix. I used Favorite, I used Saver, and I used Saver 100. I think this is a, this is a saver. So I just used everything that I had and I just mixed it as I went along. So it'll work great as a stash buster if you have a whole bunch of yarn and you can just mix it up like I did. If you are ordering your yarn, I used a total of 19 100 gram uh, skeins of acrylic. If you're ordering yarn specifically to make this gingham blanket, you will need two packs of each of your colors and four packs of your main color. So four packs of your background, my white, and two packs of each color. If you're ordering from a store where you can just pick your skeins, you will need six skeins of your pink and six skeins of your green and 12 of your white. I'm also gonna be using a nine millimeter crochet hook and you will also need a stitch marker and perhaps a darning needle for sewing in your ends later. So let's get started. To plan your colors, you can just Google search for one centimeter graph paper and just print yourself off a sheet or it's also gonna be included in the written pattern down below, but that will just be the actual nine by 13 worksheet. So it'll be a lot, a, quite a bit larger grid than this is. My blanket is nine squares wide and 13 squares tall. So, and starting with my pink color, I'm just gonna draw my line through nine squares. So there's six and there is nine. And that is going to be my first line across. And then my, I'm gonna skip one. I'm gonna leave one line white and into the third box up. I'm gonna do it with green, leaving one line white going across in my pink. And I'm just gonna alternate this going all the way up until I have 13 rows completed. There's my 13th row across. And I like to begin and end in the same color, kind of to frame the blanket. So I'm gonna do the same thing going across and now going up my 13 rows. So starting with pink, then green, and always leaving one empty row of white. So using this chart, whatever colors of marker are in that square is what we are going to be using for our yarn. And we're always gonna be using two strands of yarn. So our first square is gonna be two strands of pink. Our second square is going to be white and pink. The next one, green and pink, white and pink, pink and pink, white and pink, green and pink, white and pink, pink and pink. Then following this up, the next row, we're gonna start with pink and white, white and white, green and white, white and white, pink and white, white and white, green and white, white and white, pink and white. If our marker is going all the way across, every single block of that row is going to have that color. If it's empty, every single block of the white rows is gonna have white. So let's get started making this little cute block right here. When you're working with two strands at a time, it's easiest to take two skeins and work from the center of both skeins. If you are nearing the end of your uh, blanket and you just have one skein left, you can also work from the outside strand together with the inside strand, just with that one last skein of yarn. So 
we're going to start by making our first block. So pick one of your solid colors for your first block and just make a slip knot using both strands of your yarn. Leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle and put that onto your hook. So we're going to start by chaining six, one, two, three. I pinch that third chain and then four, five, and six. Now wrapping your yarn, we're going to go into that stitch where, we're, where we pinched it, our third chain from the start or the fourth chain back from our hook to count your stitches. To count your stitches, you don't count your knot and you do not count what is on your hook. You just count these V's in between. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six is right underneath my hook. We're going to go into the third stitch. We want to have two of those loops on our hook, so four strands of yarn. So wrap your yarn and in to the third chain or the fourth chain from your hook. Two of those st strands of the stitch on your hook and make one double crochet. Now into each of these chains, one and two, we're going to be making a double crochet into each. So I just go into the very bottom part of that chain, just on top of this bottom little loop right here. And that's where I'll be doing my two double crochet crochets. So one double crochet into each of the next two chains. There it is. And this is as awful as it's going to be. It's not going to be this awful ever again, so don't worry about it. Don't think you're going to be doing this for the whole blanket. And then our last double crochet into that very last chain. If you can't get the two, stitch, the two strands on top of your hook, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. It just looks a little fancier if you can. There's our last double crochet. So we have our chain three on one side and three double crochets. This is the building block for C to C. So there's our first one. And I'll just let it hang down, just kind of ignore it. And we're going to do that again. So we're going to chain six, one, two, three, pinch it, one, two, and three. Just like that. Now in right where we're pinching it, the fourth chain down, Wrap your yarn and you're going to make your first double crochet just into the bottom part of that chain. There's our double crochet and into the next chain. So I just look at these bottom loops here. There's one loop, two loops, and three. We've gone into the third. So now we're going to do double crochet and double crochet. The bottom part of that next chain, one double crochet and into the last chain, one double crochet. So we're always doing sets of three double crochets. There we go. And now this is what your C to C looks like. We're going to flip up our first block. So this block that's hanging down, they look like two little, little purses. Flip up your first. And now we're going to look for this chain three space right at the top, this big space. And that is where we're going to slip stitch. So put your hook in and slip stitch like that. So now it looks like that. We've connected it and chain three, one, two, and three. Now into the same chain three space, we're going to do our three double crochets. So we did our chain three and now three double crochets all into that same space. So this is nice and easy. You're not working into anything other than a big space. So it starts to go quite quickly. If I'm working too fast for you, you can click on the gear down below and slow me down or speed me up if I'm too slow for you or just pause the video and catch up. So this is the end of round two and we're right here at the end. So now we're going to do another block. So we're going to start that with a chain six. So one, two, three, pinch it, one, two, and three. 
Wrap your yarn, double crochet right into where you are pinching it or the fourth chain down from your hook. Just working into the bottom of that chain. One double crochet. And now same thing, for all of our building blocks will be like this. One double crochet into each chain. So one double crochet here and the third one right there. So wrap your yarn into the next chain, one double crochet. And into that very last chain. It can get a little small and not look like anything. You can think you ran out of a stitch, but it's just this little guy right there. That's where we want to work our hook. So our last double crochet. And now again, we're going to flip up our work. So if we're just letting it sit there, it looks like this. We want to take the work we finished and flip it up like that. Now you can see we have our chain three space waiting for our slip stitch. So go ahead and slip stitch right into that chain three space. Chain three to start your block. and three double crochets into the chain three space. So now this is how we're going to be growing our blanket. This will be the repeat, chain a slip stitch, chain three and three double crochets. So into the chain three space, we're going to slip stitch, chain three and three double crochets. So we're going to build a block and kind of work a staircase going back up. So slip stitch into the chain three space, chain three, two, three, and three double crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. Just like that. So we've done three rows now. We want to do four rows and then we're going to start decreasing. For the gingham blanket, you can do any multiple of two. So you can, do, you can make them small. You can just do two rows or you can do four rows or you can do six rows. Just make sure it is a multiple of two. So we're at the end of our row and we're going to start a new block. So chain six, one, two, three, pinch, one, two, three. So that is your chain six. Wrap your yarn and right where you're pinching or into the fourth chain from your hook, one double crochet. There's one. Into the next chain, one double crochet. And into that little tiny hiding chain, one double crochet. So now it looks like this. I'm going to turn up your work or flip up your work like that. And now we'll have our staircase on the top. And now we're going to start working back up our staircase. So into the next chain three space, we are going to slip stitch. And build our block. So chain three, one, two, three. And three double crochets into that space. One, two, and three. Slip stitch to the next stair or the next block. Slip stitch into the chain three space. Chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochets into that space. One, two, and if I'm going too fast, I'll just slow down the video by clicking that gear down below or pause the video and get caught up. Slip stitch into the next chain three space, the last stair of our row. Chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochets into that chain three space. One, two, and three. So that's our four rows and we can count our rows just by our blocks. So there's one, two, 
three and four blocks going up the side. Now we're just going to turn our work the old fashioned way and we're going to slip stitch along that side to get to our chain three space. So we're just going to slip stitch one into every stitch. So I'm even going to go straight into that very first uh, stitch. I'm going to slip stitch right into here. Just to get the yarn nice and working on its way into the next stitch, slip stitch and into the next stitch, slip stitch and into the space, slip stitch. There we go. So you get a nice straight corner. Now we can kind of rotate our work a little bit and chain three, one, two, and three. Wrap your yarn and now we're going to build our blocks going all the way along our staircase again. But we will stop when we get right here. So we're going to build one, two, and three blocks. So three double crochets into that first space. One, two, and three. And slip stitch into the next chain three space. Just to join up that block. Chain three, one, two, and three. Three double crochet into the same space. Slip stitch into the next chain three space to join up that block. Chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochet into that space. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into the next chain three space to join up that block. And now we've done four blocks on this row. One, two, three, and four. So chain one and turn your work. Now into this very first double crochet right here, we're going to make a slip stitch. We're going to slip stitch all the way up to our chain three space. So we're going to go here, 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 and then into the chain three space. So slip stitch. Slip stitch, slip stitch, and slip stitch into the chain three space. So we're ready to rotate our work a little bit and do our row. So chain three, one, two, three. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into that space. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into the next chain three space. Chain three again. One, two, three. And three double crochets into that space. One, two, and three. Now we're going to slip stitch to join up that block and finish that row. Chain one, turn your work, and now we're going to slip stitch into each of these double crochets going all the way up and also into our chain three space. So slip stitch into the first double crochet, into the second, into the third, and into the chain three space. Oh, and look, we have one, our last block to do. So how quick is it to decrease? So chain three, one, two, three. Three double crochets into that chain three space. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into the chain three space. and chain one to secure your work.
Now we're finished with this square, so you can just cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. I leave quite a long tail, probably about five or six inches, just because I don't want to fight my yarn later. And pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So there is your first block. And now we're going to look at our chart and see what color we're going to be doing next. So now we're going to be joining on to our very first block. And before I do that, I'm just going to mark the top of my blanket. So I'm just going to put a contrasting stitch marker just on the one side, just on this top side. So not through any stitches, I'm just laying it across. So not on this side, just on the top side, anywhere at all, just so I know that this is the top of my blanket. So we have done our pink and pink, so we can kind of X that off if that helps you keep track of where you are. And our next block is going to be pink and white. So grab your next two colors and make a slip knot. Leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later and put that onto your hook and shrink it down. So I'm going to join building onto my row. So I'm going to just put my hook straight in to this chain three space, slip stitch to join that yarn, and we're going to build our first block. So we're going to chain six, one, two, three, pinch, one, two, three, one double crochet into the fourth chain right where you're pinching and one double crochet into each chain going down. So three double crochets, one into each chain. Same as we were doing before. And this last chain is a little bit fussy, so don't worry if you only get one of those strands on your hook, it's fine. There we go, and now we're going to slip stitch into this space to join, or you can go into the stitch Try to go into that space, if you can see right underneath that slip stitch. Try to go into there. If it's difficult, you can work into the space. It's not the end of the world. And that will hook down your first block. And now chain three. One, two, and three. So it looks like that. Now we're going to slip stitch this down into, you can either go into the space or go into the stitch. I try to go into the stitch just so it's a little bit less obvious, but if you're new and this is your first kind of big blanket, just go ahead and go into the space. It won't make that much of a difference. So slip stitch right into that, either into the space or into the stitch, and chain three. One, two, and three. Turn your work, and now we're going to do our three double crochets right into that space around our chain three. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into the chain three space and build your next block. So chain three, and three double crochets into that chain three space, like so. Now we're at the end of our blanket. So we're gonna chain six and build a new block. So one, two, three, pinch, one, two, three, and three double crochets into each chain starting on the fourth chain or the chain that you're pinching. One, two, and three. And now we're going to flip up our work, all of our work. It'll get bigger, but you're always going to just flip it up. Slip stitch into that chain three space to join up that new block. And now you're going to work up our staircase. So we're going to build a block into our chain three space, join it, and build our block. So chain three, 
and three double crochet into that same space. And slip stitch to our chain three space to join. The next chain three space, like that. Chain three, one, two, and three, and three double crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. Now we're going to join in between our next block and I'm going to try to go into that stitch. Or you can also go into the space if it is tricky for you. I'm just going to try to push my hook in and slip stitch just like that. So now it looks like this. We've done our third row. Now we'll do our fourth row. So we're going to start that with a chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to slip stitch right to the top. We're right into this corner. We want it to be nice and smooth. So I'm going to slip stitch right here into that top chain pushing your hook in and slip stitch to pin it down. Chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work and three double crochets into the very first chain three space. And we're gonna work back up our staircase the same as we did before. So pause the video, work up your staircase, and I will meet you at the end of this row. So now we've done our four blocks along this edge. One, two, three, and four. So now we're gonna decrease and just finish off this square. So turn your work and slip stitch right into that very same stitch just to get a nice crisp corner. And one slip stitch into each stitch working your way to that chain three space. There is my chain three, so slip stitch into the chain three space. I'm going to spin your work around, and now we're going to build our staircase going back up this side. So chain three, and three double crochets into the space, slip stitch, chain three, working your way back up. So pause the video, work your way up the staircase, and I'll meet you when we are joining up into this last chain three space. Slip stitch to the chain three space. Now I chain one just to get a little bit of distance and turn your work. Now we're going to slip stitch all along this side until we can slip stitch into our chain three space. There's our first slip stitch. One, two, three slip stitches and our fourth slip stitch is right into that chain three space. Chain three to start our new block and now three double crochets, slip stitch to join, chain three, three double crochets, and I'll meet you when we're slip stitching to the last block. So slip stitch into that last chain three space, chain one, turn your work, and now slip stitch all along here. It's the same as we did for our very first block. We're finishing the exact same. So slip stitch, four times. There's two, here's three, and there is four. Turn your work a little bit, rotate it, chain three, and finish your last block. Two, three. Three double crochets into that space, and slip stitch into this chain three space to finish off your block. There's our slip stitch, Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. So there is our second square built and joined. And now we're going to be working on our third. So the joining method is exactly the same. I'll put a little timestamp up here so you can go back and just watch this section over and over. Pretty much it's just this joining part right here that's new. The rest of it is the exact same as doing the pink. 
So you'll get the hang of it, just keep following along. So we've done our pink and pink, we have done our white and pink. The next square we're going to be doing is green and pink. So go ahead and get your green and pink yarn ready. Slip knot and onto your hook. We're going to be joining into this bottom corner right into that stitch. So slip stitch with both strands of yarn onto your hook and put your hook right into that stitch. This is how we're going to be joining every block if we're just joining to one side. And you're just going to keep building your row all the way along until you have finished this entire row. So pause the video and I'll meet you when we're ready to start the second row. The first block for our second row will be white and pink. And keep track of that stitch marker. We would just want to make sure that we're always starting our block with our stitch marker facing up. So slip stitch and put it on your hook. And we're going to start building our block right into this nice open space that's waiting for us. Just right there, top of the chain three, also where we joined our, our square. We're going to be working right into the same spot to start our next block. So go ahead and put your hook in, slip stitch, and chain six. One, two, three, pinch, one, two, and three. And we're gonna do the same thing, just building our block. So one double crochet right where you're pinching into the fourth chain from the hook, and one double crochet into each of the next two chains. Just building a block like we always did. Chain three, one, two, three. So slip stitch into that stitch or into the space, whatever is easier for you or whatever you prefer. And just go ahead and keep building this block. This is the same as we did joining on the side, except we're joining one row up. One bit that might kind of trip you up a smudge is when we're joining this, when we're finishing off our last block, it's our chain three and we just have to pin it down. So just pin it down to anywhere in that corner. And this block might look different than mine, just depending on what side you started your square on. So just pin it down any, which, any spot that you can and just finish off that block. So it'll look like that. Chain three, pin it down, chain three, and then turn your work. So pause the video and I'll meet you when we are starting our next square. So your blanket will look like this now. We're ready to start joining in the corner, which is gonna be super awesome. It's my favorite part of this blanket because there's no more chain six and building a block on the side. So no more working into chains, which I really, really love. It goes so much quicker. So if you just tick off where you are, I finished this square right here. I'm just doing a small pillowcase for this tutorial, but if you are working on the bigger one, definitely just tick off that uh, block and then look what you're gonna be doing next, which is white and white, white and white. So two strands of white for the next block. Make sure your stitch marker is still facing up and I'm just gonna move it to the next block up so I know when I'm starting my next row where I need to start. So our next row will be starting way up here. And I just like to keep track of that. It can be a bit, you can kind of start flipping it around and getting confused. So that's why I just move my stitch marker up so I know where I'm gonna be building on next. Get your white yarn ready. So slip knot and put it on your hook. We're going to be joining our next block or starting our next block right in the corner and we're always going to be starting our blocks in the corner if we have a corner. So right into this nice little spot and you can see it's waiting for you. We've already worked into it on both sides. We're going to work into it again. So put your hook in and slip stitch to join your new yarn. And now chain three. One, two, and three. And now we're gonna slip stitch right into 
this space or into that stitch. I just go right into that little chain one space I made or little chain one stitch I made just right beside. If that's hard, you can always just go into the space. So push your hook straight in, wiggle some of that yarn onto your hook and slip stitch and chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're gonna work into this chain three space that we just made and put in three double crochets. So one, two, and three. So we have our first block and we just have to attach it. So now we're gonna slip stitch on this side either into the big space or into the stitch. I'm gonna to try to go into that stitch and slip stitch. And chain three again. One, two, three. I'm gonna kinda of turn my work of smudge and I'm gonna slip stitch right into the next space or this stitch right on top of that space. Wiggle your hook. Slip stitch and chain three. One, two, and three. So now it looks like that. Turn your work. And we're gonna build right into that chain three space. So three double crochets into the chain three space that we just built. One, two, and three. and slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So this all looks normal. This is what we're used to doing. So slip stitch and chain three. One, two, and three. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into that chain three space. One, two, and three. Now we're going to be slip stitching either into this stitch or into the space, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna go into the stitch, pushing my hook in, slip stitch to join. Chain three, one, two, three, and we'll pin this one down. I'm gonna go in right after that knot, just underneath, and I'm even gonna go over my tail, a tiny little smudge, and slip stitch. You, of course, can go into the spaces. If you've been going into the spaces before, just keep going into your spaces. And slip stitch, chain three, one, two, three. Now it looks like this. And turn your work. Now we're gonna build back up along our staircase, the same as we always have. Let's go three double crochets into the space. Slip stitch into the space to join. Chain three and three double crochets into the space. Slip stitch to join. And three double crochets into this last space. Now you can slip stitch into the space or into that stitch, whichever you have been doing before. I'm gonna go into the stitch and slip stitch. Chain three again, one, two, and three. And I'm gonna slip stitch that down right into the top, into the corner of that last block. Just the corner of it. So push your hook in and slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. It looks like this. Now we're going to turn our work. And we're gonna work back up our staircase. So three double crochets and slip stitch, and then work your way up and I'll meet you when you get to your last block. And make sure you have worked into your very last space. Make sure that you have fin you're finishing at the same height as your last block. So make sure you have four blocks before you start your decrease. And you can just wiggle your fingers in to count or make sure that it lines up with your next uh, block. And now we're just gonna slip stitch right in to where we joined before. So just into that nice little space right here. So slip stitch and turn your work. 
Now we're going to slip stitch all along this side. One slip stitch into each stitch and we're going to start our decrease. So this is the same as we have done for all of our blocks. So just keep going and decreasing until this block is finished. So now this block is finished. Don't worry if right after you've done it, if there's like big holes and it's kind of wobbly on one side, it'll totally even out and everything will be looking nice and crisp like this once you have joined on all sides. So don't panic. Don't think it's like terrible if it's like all kind of weird and not square. And like over here, it's all going to even out and become nice and square and flat and joined once you have built on every side. I also tuck all of my tails into the back side, so I, it's another easy way of telling the front and back. So if there's a stitch marker, I make all the tails go on the back side. So keep joining along this row until your row is finished. Join again the next block right by your stitch marker up and work along that row. And then it's time to do the border. I'm just going to put my hook straight in to this corner here. Just how we would normally be joining a square if we were starting a new row. So just get your hook in and two strands of your white yarn for the border. So I'm going to join my new yarn into this corner space right here. You can use any corner space, doesn't matter. I am just chose this pink one. So put your hook in and take a loop of your yarn leaving about a six inch tail. You want it long enough to sew in easily later. So put that loop, and I'm using two strands of the white, same as we did for the rest of our blanket. Pull it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. So we're joining our yarn in a different way now because we want it to look like that as we go around so it looks like a single crochet. Drop your tail and chain two. One and two. Now jumping straight into the next space, we're gonna do a single crochet. So hook in and one single crochet, chain two, one, two, into the next space, single crochet. And we're gonna do this all the way along the edge of the blanket. Single crochet into the space and chain two to get to the next space. So that still keeps our stitches even, gives us three stitches. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the space chain two, single crochet into the space, chain two. Keep going like this all the way along the side until you reach your corner. When you reach your corners, you're just gonna go right into that, the top of that stitch, right in the corner to make your new corner. So push your hook in and single crochet, chain two, and into the very same stitch, the very same spot, one more single crochet. So hook in and single crochet. Chain two, single crochet into the next spot. Chain two. Now we can kind of go back. So this is what your corner looks like. Very cute. And your next round will go right into that corner space right there. So we're gonna keep going around doing a single crochet into each space with a chain two to get to the next space. And corners get single crochet, chain two, and single crochet all into the same corner spot. So keep working your way around your blanket and I'll meet you when we get back to where we joined. When you get to your corner, just put your hook straight back where you started into the same spot and single crochet, chain two, and now we're going to slip stitch to join. I'm just going to slip stitch right into the center of that V. I'm just going to like pull it up a smudge just like that. I'm going to put my hook in and slip stitch. And don't worry if yours is all scooped up and looking too tight. That will just help your blanket keep its shape in the future. Now we're going to slip stitch over right into that next space. So just slip stitch over, that's where we want to be. We want to start from that space. And chain three. One, two, three. This is going to count as our first double crochet to give us some height. Wrap your yarn and two more double crochets into that space. One and two. 
And now all the way along this side, we're gonna be putting three double crochets into each of these spaces. So just super quick and easy, three double crochets into each space all the way along. Like that. So pause the video, three double crochets into each space, and I will meet you when we get to our corner. When you reach your corner space, do two double crochets into that corner chain two that you made. So one and two. Chain two, one and two. And now making sure it's in the same spot, two more double crochets into that same corner space. That's gonna be your new corner, one and two. Just like that. And now keep going three double crochets into each space all along the sides. Your corners will be two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. So keep going like that and I will meet you when you get back to where we started. So that's finished it off and now we're gonna slip stitch to join. We're doing one more round on our border so we don't have to do any fancy joining. We can just push our hook straight into the top of that chain three and slip stitch to join. So straight in and slip stitch. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. So that finishes the white for our border. Now you can pick whichever color you wanna use for the next round, either your green or your pink or whatever colors you are using for yours. Put your hook into that corner space, loop of yarn on your hook leaving a long enough tail to be able to sew in, and bring it through and slip stitch with all of that yarn to join. Now you're gonna drop your tail and chain three. One, two, and three. So that counts as our first single crochet and a chain three. Find your sets of three in the row below and we're just gonna single crochet in between those stitches. Just like that. Chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next space. So we're just redoing these spaces between our stitches. We're doing it again in green. So that each of them are gonna line up. We're kind of making little chiclets going all the way along. And we're chaining three, one, two, three, because we don't need to hold in our blanket anymore. Now we can just let it be a nice little border. So into the next space or after the next three double crochets, single crochet, one, two, three, and single crochet into the space between the next three double crochets. Chain three, one, two, three, single crochet into the space between the next three double crochets. So we're gonna keep going around doing this all the way along. I'll meet you when we get to our first corner. So when you get to your corner, I've done my chain three and single crochet into the corner space. Chain three again, one, two, three. Rotate your work a smudge and single crochet into the same spot. So we're just doing the same for our corners as we did for the first round of white, except we're doing chain threes instead. And don't worry about these two stitches and the chain three, don't worry about any of it. Just keep going along. Chain three, single crochet right after those two double crochets. Just keep an eye on that. Chain three, one, two, three. And single crochet in between the spaces of each set of three double crochets all the way along. For your corner, you'll do single crochet, chain three, and single crochet into the same corner spot. So keep going around like that all the way around your blanket and I'll meet you when you get back to where you joined. Into the corner where we started, I did my chain three, so single crochet into that corner space, chain three, one, two, and three. And now we're gonna slip stitch right into the center of that V where we joined. I'm just gonna push my hook in and slip stitch to join, just like that. Chain one and turn your work into your corner space. Single crochet and three treble crochets into that corner space. 
So wrap your yarn twice and make three treble crochets. There's one, two, and three. Now single crochet right beside. So put your hook in, get that yarn right along your work. So it's pulled down and make one single crochet. And that'll kind of pull all those stitches down and give you a nice cute little bobble there on the corner. Jump straight over into the next space and you're gonna do single crochet, treble crochet, and single crochet. So that gives you cute little baubles, super simple, super easy, and they'll be on the right side of your blanket because we're working into the back. So into each of these chain three spaces, single crochet, treble crochet, single crochet, and nothing into your stitch, everything is in to the spaces. So I did my single, my treble, and your single. So when you're doing your single after that treble, get that yarn right back down beside, like right onto your chain, and do your single nice and tight down at the bottom. And then skip straight over to do your next single crochet, treble crochet, and single crochet into the next space. So you just pinch it down and do your single crochet to finish that space off. So it looks like this from the side you're working on and it looks like that from the other side. How cute, right? So keep going along this side. I'll meet you when you get to your corner. When you get to your corner, you're gonna do single crochet, three trebles and one single crochet all into that corner space. So just hop straight in and single crochet, wrap your yarn twice and three treble crochets. So that's gonna be each corner is gonna be exactly like this. There's my second treble crochet. And my third. And now tip all that work down, get your yarn straight along your chain and finish it off with your single crochet. So that'll pin all of those stitches down and give you a nice little bobble on the other side. So now keep going around, doing the same thing all the way around, and I'll meet you when you get back to where we joined. It's not as hard as you think, so if you haven't done it before, totally give it a try. You want to cut your yarn, giving yourself I don't know, six or seven inches of yarn. And instead of joining, you're just gonna pull that yarn straight up and through that stitch, just like that. And thread your needle. And now where we're gonna join into this first real stitch here, our single crochet, I'm gonna put my needle straight as I would my hook, just underneath both strands of that V and pull it through. And I'm gonna keep an eye on where my yarn is coming from. So I'm keeping an eye on this hole right here. That is where I'm gonna go back into next. So I wanna keep an eye on this. So keep pulling it to join it up and keep an eye on that hole where the yarn came from. You don't want it super tight, you still want it to look a bit like a stitch. Now you're gonna go back down where your yarn came from, that spot you were keeping an eye on, and just thread your yarn back down through. And see, that gives us a little V that looks just like any of the other stitches. So that is why it's called invisible join. And now you're just going to weave in your tail. Now I'll show you how to sew in your ends real quick. So to sew in your ends, we have two different kinds, one that ends on the side and one that ends in the corner. So I'll show you just a quick little way of sewing all of those in. Don't panic that it is a lot of work, it's actually pretty quick. 
and I don't like my ends, so that's a statement. So I'm just thread your needle and work your way back along underneath all of these stitches here, under those three double crochets. You kind of snug it, you want it to kind of blend in. You don't want to pull too tight, but you also don't want it loose. And then go under one of these loops of the same color yarn, just to pin it on that one side, and then go back the other direction. So that'll pretty much hold your end right there. If you want to be really sure, you can just do that again. So grab a loop of your yarn, same matching colors, or same colors, and then go back down under those same stitches. So that's three times. That is going to stay for sure, and it's not going to stretch out. And then just snip it off. And that is it for your blanket. It's complete. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give the thumbs up down below and share the video with someone else who you think might want to make one of these blankets. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and stay hooked. <laughs>